Timelines. Egyptian Timelines by Mr. Amster. Before you begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter. Egyptian Timeline. The first period in Egyptian history is known as pre-dynastic. This took place from about 5500 to 3000 BCE. It was a time of great climate change, as 7,000 years ago, most of Egypt was turned progressively into a desert, except along the Nile. Farming begins, and communities form along the river. Egypt remains divided, though, into the upper and lower kingdoms, or southern and northern Egypt. Remember, in Egypt, they would have viewed it as upper is on the is in the is in the south, and lower is in the north. Pre, uh, early dynastic. These were dynasties one to th one through three in Egyptian history. And this took place from about 2950 to 2 to 2575 BCE. Remember, it goes down. Upper and Lower Egypt are united under King Narmer, also known as Menes. Memphis becomes known as his capital city. The Egyptian calendar and hieroglyphic writing are created during this time. The royal necropolis or burial ground is, loca is located at Abdos, with vast cemeteries at Saqqara and other sites. And at this point, mastabas are used as the tombs. What are mastabas, you might ask? It's kind of like a flat top pyramid, but much smaller. We'll learn about them real soon. Please take a moment and highlight climate change turns to desert. Farming begins along the Nile. Egypt remains divided. Memphis first capital, united under King Narmer, writing created, royal necropolis at Abydos, Old Kingdom. These are dynasties four through eight. And they take place from 2575 to 2150 BCE. This is an age of great pyramid builders. And the pyramids at Giza are built. The cult of the sun god Ra, or Re, is centered at a Heliocropolis, which is a city. Trade with the Mediterranean region and a brief occupation of Lower Egypt, uh, Lower Nubia, is also taking place here. Remember, Lower Nubia is to them in the northern part of Nubia. First Intermediate Period. This is from the 9th Dynasty all the way to the 11th. And this takes place from 2125 to 1975 BCE. During this time, it's politi political chaos. 
as Egypt splits into two regions with separate dynasties. Please take a moment and highlight Age of Great Pyramid Builders and Political Chaos. Egyptian Timeline, Middle Kingdom. This is Dynasties 9 through 14, and it takes place from 1975 to 1640 BCE. During this time, there is a reunification by the Theban kings, or the people of Thebes. Dynasty 12, the kings win control of Lower Nubia, and the royal burials shift north to near Memphis. This period, though, the Middle Kingdom, is known mostly for a, literacy, a, a literary period, where writing, art, really take shape, and a lot of what we know about Egyptian culture develops. Also, major irrigation projects take place. But again, it doesn't last very long. And a second intermediate period takes place. This is from dynasties 15 to 17. And from 630 to 5 to 1520, BCE, the Asiatic Hyksos settlers rule the north and they introduce the horse and chariot. The Thebians are still able to control the south, though. Please take a moment and highlight reunification, classic literary period. Asiatic Hyksos rule the north. New Kingdom. Now this is the period that most people know about in ancient Egypt. It's by far the most popular because a lot of interesting things happened during this time. This is during dynasties 18 to 20 and it takes place for from 1539 to 1075 BCE. 1075. If you recall, that's when Kush got its independence. <clears throat> the Thebians finally expel the Hyksos, and they reunite Egypt. And once again, it becomes a powerful empire. This is known as the Age of the Empire. And warrior kings conquer parts of Syria, Palestine, and even into Lower Nubia. The burial place of the pharaohs is moved to the Valley of the Kings and Queens near Luxor. And we'll look at what some of those look like today. Greco-Roman period. This takes place from about 332 BCE to about 395 CE. And this takes place after the rule of Alexander the Great. Ptolemies, who rules after the death of Alexander in 332, allows for dramatic growth of population and agricultural output. Roman emperors come in and eventually build temples depicting themselves in Egyptian style. Everybody wanted to walk like an Egyptian. This is also the time of the famous Pharaoh Cleopatra, who in 31 BCE commits suicide, preventing the Romans from capturing her. Please take a moment and highlight Age of the Empire, 
Ptolemy's dramatic growth of population agricultural output. The end.